Hey, it's Anthony P. Chibona here back with another market update. In this video, we're going to talk about where we see the market going. We're going to go over our previous swing trades and how we said we're going to see 3800 before 4200. Still believe that's coming true. We're going to go over what we saw this past week in the market and where we're likely to go in the next coming week. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate the video. And without further ado, let's dive into the charts. So what we're seeing on SPX right now is we had uh, explosive moves coming up to sweep the liquidity to the left. You can see it more clearly on ES, ES futures. We had this huge wick to the upside uh, last uh, inflation report, and that was December 13th at 41.80. We swept those highs, and that is now stopping out all shorts, making shorts capitulate, so now we can push to the downside. If you take a look at the dollar, we had the dollar breakout because we had a real hot NFP. So we had real hot NFP, which means we added a ton of jobs, which is um, something that was completely unexpected because what that means is there's no reason to drop rates. It means that Jerome Powell is going to continue to increase rates, and that's really bad for the stock market. Everyone's thinking we're going to see a pivot real soon. We're going to see the Fed reduce rates at the end of 2023, but job market's hot, which means that uh, unemployment hit new lows, which means that there needs to be much more pain, higher rates, so we can get unemployment lower, so we can get inflation lower. Likely to see a possible uptick in inflation, which is all the things that no one has expected recently. So because of that, dollar actually swept lows. If you take a look at these lows here uh, at the end of May, boom, dropped below on Thursday with Jerome Powell, and then boom, exploded to the upside with the NFP report breaking out to the upside. With that, we had the yields, the rates start to tick back up on the daily chart, breaking back up above on the 10 year and the two year, all things that are bad for the stock market as the dollar goes up and rates goes up, the stock market tends to go down, especially when people are expecting a Fed pivot and that is no longer likely to come. So because of that, we put in a top on the S&P 500 just below 4,200. So we pushed up, swept the liquidity to the left on those December 13th highs and then started to push lower, uh, having the candles coming back down to the downside question is do we come down and just test the support at the 4100 level and push back up or do we start to come down and trade down to that 3800 level which is what i personally believe so we're going to just watch out with an open mind this coming week but i'm going to show you some reasons why it's more likely that i think we're going to continue to the downside in the coming weeks number one reason is we actually always have this divergence with uh, hyg which is high yield bonds as high yield bonds go up the stock market tends to go up. All throughout 2022, we've been having these divergences where HYG has been coming lower and then S&P has followed. So if you take a look at HYG, you're gonna see that from January 13th, uh, high yield bonds are actually lower from January 13th. What happened January 13th with the S&P 500 is we went a lot higher. So. Every single time, you can go back and look at the charts between HYG and, and S&P 500. Every single time that we have moved higher on S&P, but moved lower on HYG, it was the precursor to a dramatic fall in the S&P 500. That's just one thing. The bigger reason why is because of price action, we swept the highs to the left, simply put. I thought we would sweep, sweep the highs, stop out all bears. They did that. Now, we have the dollar breaking out. So that's the first signal. We have the rates coming back up and we have a hot job, jobs number, which mean, all means that inflation is likely to tick back up, but more importantly that, that the economy is stronger than people think, which means that rates need to continue to go up to get unemployment lower so they can get inflation lower. There's no reason to drop rates when unemployment is at all time lows at 3.4%. We're now likely going to continue lower and we're looking for the uh, sweep of the lows to the left at the 3,800 level. So the question is, do we do something like pushing down to about the 4100 level and then pushing back up one more time to about 4250 then going down that's question number one or do we start selling immediately i'm in the camp of we're going to start coming down just just trending lower we could come down to 4100 bounce back up put in a lower high come up to about 4170 or so and then start to push lower into uh, from February to the end of March and you know February to end of March getting down to the 3800 level sweeping the lows to the left 
this is what I am anticipating for now. Pay attention to the dollar because whenever the dollar and the rates are increasing, we're going to see more pain ahead for the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. If you take a look at the weekly chart for the S&P 500, like I said in previous videos, it looks extremely bull bullish. We have increasing volume to the upside. We have a higher low that was put in December, and it looks like we're gonna continue to push up to that 4,400 level. This is what we talked about in previous videos. However, we still believe that we're just gonna see a sweep of the highs to the left. Once they sweep those highs, then we're able to continue lower. Now, if we continue trending up, then it looks like that our, our bearish thesis is incorrect. However, what we're doing is we're just taking trades mostly from 9, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and having a ton of success on the five and 15 minute time frame. Here's another view of the S&P 500 where you can see we really stopped out all shorts. It was an extremely explosive impulse move to the upside to stop out all shorts. You have the highs here December 13th, the double top from the beginning of December, and then you also have these highs September 12th. We came up and we stopped all shorts and we traded to the resistance to the left here at about 4160 to the 4180 level. We didn't quite sweep these highs at uh, August 25th, got just below the 4200 level. So it's funny how I said that we're gonna see 3800 before 4200. We'll see if that still plays out. We stopped just below 4200 at, at a high of about 4196. So super close to the 4200 level. Now let's see if we trade lower or if we come down one more false move, explode higher to stop out shorts one more time and then trade lower. Let me know how your trading week went in the comments below. Are you more short right now or are you more long bias on your longer term accounts or swing trade accounts? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in a midweek update video. Thanks so much. Have a good one.